Hi, I'm Arjun Villegas from Centennial High School, and I'm here to give you the latest scoop on all things Aggie Athletics. Let's take it back to the beginning of the Battle of I-25. The rivalry dates back as far as 1894, when the Lobos and Aggies first crossed paths. The rivalry was all fun and games until it took a sinister turn. Fast forward to October of 2022, when a fight of NMSU and UNM students goes viral on Twitter during the big rivalry football game. The fight was recorded at Aggie Memorial Stadium. NMSU basketball players could be identified from the video. Basketball season kicked off November 7th for the Aggies, but the new season excitement would not last very long. November 2022, when NMSU traveled to Albuquerque, basketball player Mike Peake was served by four UNM students at around 3 a.m. Peake was then ambushed, and weapons are drawn by both Peake and Brandon Travis, 19-year-old UNM student. Although Travis was the first to fire his weapon, it turned fatal when Mike Peake shot back in self-defense, killing Travis. Peake was hospitalized and has gone through several surgeries for the gunshot wound that he sustained in his leg during the altercation. But what about the other UNM students involved? Two of the students have been arrested and charged with crimes. But this incident only prompts more questions for the NMSU basketball program. Why was Peak armed on a university sanctioned trip? Why was he past his curfew at 3 a.m.? We may not have all the answers now, as his case is still under investigations. But wait, the drama with Aggie Athletics does not stop there. The NMSU basketball team shocked fans when it was announced that their 2023 boys basketball season would be suspended and the program is still under investigations. Fans initially thought this was, this was the result as the November 22 shooting, but to everybody's surprise, it was not related to that event at all. The suspension comes with hazing allegations within the team when they came to surface. The university fired head basketball coach Greg Heyer. And now all the team can focus on is moving forward and rebuilding the program after this really rough year. That's a wrap on this update of Aggie Athletics. I'm Adrian Villegas and see you next time.